It looks like we're ready to go for Frosty's Learn With Pokemon Typing Adventure Any% percent Run. Good luck to you. Thank you, thank you. So yeah, welcome everyone. Good morning. It's time for to learn to type with Pokemons. And before we start the running, I'm going to make 100% sure and ask the host what category I'll be running. What's the incentive, Matt? It was not, sadly, so you are running any percent. All right, that's super fun as well, though. Like, it is, if you want to see me meme even more, then it's gonna, this is a much better category for it. Anyway, I'm about ready, so if chat could give me... Uh, chat. <laughs> that could give me a uh, countdown. So yeah, learn with Pokemon Typing Adventure. It's a neat little game for the DS that got released. Let me check stream. In 2012, I'm so super informed on what this when this game got released. So yeah, we first get a little bit through the story and a little bit of character creation. I just mesh enter there because you know you don't need. Doesn't really matter who you are. So yeah, we're gonna be starting out in this first level over here, and it's basically teaching you the basics of just pressing a few le uh, letters in the middle row. As you can see in the bottom screen, it basically tells you where you should uh, have your finger positions to make this work. Uh, for this stage, uh, to clear it as fast as possible, uh, you need to get uh, clear out 20 uh, of these things, of these balls with letters on them, and we're gonna just press the letters. Oh my god, I... Wait, how did I not get a 20 combo? Hang on, I gotta redo that because I probably made a mistake somewhere. Uh, let's try that again. More letters. Woo! So yeah. How? I am not awake yet. I know how to type. See, that's, this is why I just picked up this game. I don't know how to type and that's why I gotta learn to make this better. What do you call this your type of game? <laughs> Are you gonna go like that the entire run? I mean, I might. <laughs> Yeah, but sure, this is my type of game. It's a Pokemon game. I'm a big Nintendo fanboy, so, you know, in that sense, yes, this is my type of game. Uh, all right, now we got the gold medal requirements. As you can see, oh, thank you. Uh, so, yeah, we want to get the gold medal requirements here. In At a certain point in the run, we need a total of 30 med medals. Bronze counting for one. If you get the silver as well, it's two. And if you get the gold, it gives you three. We need 30 at one point in the run, and especially during these first early stages, which just get cleared faster uh, if you beat it fast, and uh, it's definitely worth to go uh, get some gold medals on those. Now we get a little bit more of tutorial. We need to go to my room. Uh, don't take that the wrong way. Uh, and in there, we just instantly leave again. She tells you stuff about settings and uh, layout stuff that you can change, but we don't need any of that. So yeah, she tells us now that we need, once we get to the H peak, so the, as you can see on the bottom screen, uh, the world maps on the bottom screen. Uh, once we get to H, we need a total of 15 medals. I'll probably have like 15 medals already after six levels or so. Anyway, the next stage, we're gonna use the top row for letters. It's, I don't even look at the top screen for this one because the bottom screen just tells me which button I should press earlier than I can see what's on the top screen. So let's make sure to not miss any of this combo today. Uh, Alright, there we go. Gold medal again. So yeah, as you might realize, this is a DS game and, you know, how do I type on a DS game? Well, the fun thing about this game is when you originally buy this, it comes with its cool keyboard. Where's the camera? The keyboard, there's the camera. Uh, so yeah, I'm playing a nice little keyboard you can connect with uh, Bluetooth, which is also in your DS. I never knew that before I started playing this game. Uh, but yeah, at this point more stages start unlocking, but we don't need any of those. We just need to clear this stage, uh, go through this fast. And yeah, for this stage over here, uh, we want to get the gold medal again. And this is actually where the run gets a little bit more interesting. So far, it's been kind of random which letters we need to press, but now we actually need to type the first letter of each Pokemon we see. So besides being able to type fast, you also need to be able to recognize Pokemon quickly in this run, which definitely makes it... Why do I keep hearing people in the back shouting out the letters they see? <laughs> That's amazing. 
So yeah, first ladder of Pokémons we're typing out, and that's... Uh, for this particular level to get the gold medal, I need a score of 300,000. Uh, and as you can see, the higher our combo gets, the more points we start getting for Pokémon uh, that we type out. So currently, we're at like 200,000. Don't need that much more at this point, as long as I don't break my combo. Once you break your combo, you just start getting crap score again. Uh, after a while, and since we met the score requirement, I'm just going to let the rest of this level roll out. And once we're at the end, I'll type the final one. So yeah, another gold medal. Already at nine medals here. So we're making good progress. So yeah, these were the few tutorial levels, the game explaining you a little bit on what this game is about and how to do basic typing stuff. Pretty straightforward. And now we're actually gonna get to the story of this game, because yes, this game also has a storyline. So this girl, Paige Down, uh, she tells that we can finally go to Zed Islands to meet the professor. And the professor needs some help in his research because even though he does know Pokemon pretty well, he's pretty, pretty bad at uh at typing so that's why he needs us and his name by the way is quentin worthy which if you shorten his first name it says q wordy which are the first six letters on the keyboards it's, it's really stupid <laughs> so yeah he tells us about these pokeballs which are special typing balls which lets us catch pokemon if we type out the name of pokemon uh so at this point though uh we're still slowly learning how to type so we're actually uh we don't really uh need to type full name yet so as you can see we only need to type out the first letter at this point and this is where the run gets interesting or i would more say non-interesting because the fastest way to actually play this game is to not type uh because the more pokemon you catch the more bonus levels will unlock and i kind of don't want that because that takes extra time so i'm just gonna be waiting here for a little bit pushing it back trying to s see what how to spell out his name apparently it was not a j anyway five zero up, pop up here which is the requirement for the silver medal in this one and now we can wait again we can look at this krabby and try to determine what his name krabby you spell with a q right maybe with an open bracket close bracket i don't know what do you guys think i think it doesn't count because he has type advantage Ooh, you got a true point there am i like a fire pokemon or something I'm an ice Pokemon, come on, you should know that. <laughs> Alright, that's okay. <laughs> so yeah, that's gonna be most of this run. It makes the any percent category not, not the most interesting category, but we can meme around about what we want, so... Uh, everyone in chat, I would definitely recommend trying to type along and try to get them as well. You heard it, chat. Frosty needs your help. So yeah, off to the next level. Here we need to start. Oh, we also get access to control, but we're not going there. There are some extra stages that unlock throughout the stage, uh, throughout the run, but we don't need any of those. So yeah, now it gets difficult. Now we need to start typing two letters per Pokemon. We're basically doubling the amount of work that we have to do right now. So yeah, for this stage, uh, to get the silver medal requirement, uh, we will need to catch four different Deerling. However, in all the time I've played this game, I've never seen the four different Deerling appear in one run through of this stage. So I'm just gonna be uh, typing out, uh, going for the minimum requirements of getting the bronze medal. You need at least a bronze medal require, bronze medal to advance in this game. And as you can see, sometimes in the level you get stopped uh, before you can start moving on. So I'm just gonna let the Pokemon get uh, to the stop of the stage and then when it stops I'll actually press the final letter to make it work. We already got the bronze medal requirement but you know I don't want to stop in the level. Stopping in the level is slow. No one wants to stop in the level so I'm just gonna... I still need to catch two more Pokemon. Is it a uh, Nas leaf? It's not a Nas leaf. Mm. Oh it's a Nas leaf, okay. Yes, it's a hazelnut leaf. Seems pretty good. All right, uh, all right, Gen 5. I, I, I've never re really played a lot of Gen 5. Uh, this, this seems like a Pidgey, but if I actually type Pidgey, we continue, so I shouldn't say that. It's a who dude. No. Um, it's a Pikachu. Oh, thank you. Uh, oh, yeah, that's how you spell Pikachu. Thank you, thank you. Oh, 
I'm so glad that I have the couch here with me that's just shouting out whatever things are. Uh, so yeah, now we're gonna get to the first boss stage. Ooh, that sounds scary, right? Uh, the, the, the thing is, in this stage, we're actually not able to get more than a bronze medal the first time through. And just getting the bronze medal is catching the boss at the end. So this next stage is really not doing anything for the entire stage. So, you know, if the host wants to plug something or whatever, then now would be, like, time for that. <laughs> I mean, I could, because we do have a few incentives coming up. The first one is the Splatoon 2. You can make the runner wear a cute Splatoon hat, ah, yeah, yeah, for just 100 euros. Uh, we also have a bigger incentive later on, which is for Yoshi's Story, which is slightly further than Marathon, but I really want to see that, because you can change the category from any percent to all melons one lap, and that is actually really interesting. It's fun to stay at the YMCA. Y-M-C-A-A But yeah, it doesn't matter. I can just start typing random stuff and it doesn't matter at all. So yeah, B is G. Oh god, there was, there was actually a G in the name. Oops. So is cool. See, then we're not typing out the name yet. Ooh, we got halfway through our time requirement. Where's the T on my keyboard? Where is it? It's not the Q. It's not a W. Mm, D? No. It's not God. Apparently this Pokemon isn't God. Oh, I need to type a T. Alright, alright, now we can actually get to the fight. Okay, then now, this fight, fights are actually pretty interesting uh, to catch them. We need to type, before we can actually start typing out his name, he'll start attacking us. And we quickly want to uh, get rid of his attack. This first boss is pretty, pretty easy because it only does one attack. And after that, we only need to type three letters to make it work. So there we go, we got the first boss fight down. Yay! So think about at this point we are, let me see we have 9 11 12 30 medals we need two more medals before we get to h peak we'll be fine there's actually gonna be one stage where like there's only gonna be two stages left where i'm not gonna be you know go for a bronze medal uh, what was the requirement for this one again i don't know i'll type out a little bit all right there we go we got one I should probably try to keep up my combo at least, so I can score more points. I, I really honestly can't... I should have looked at the beginning screen to see... Oh, that, that was only catch two Pokemon. Okay, we can watch the rest again. So, uh, this is the Blastoise. Definitely... Worst starter of Gen 1. Oh, Bulbasaur. Oh, I was late. Ooh. Alright, th this is definitely uh, a Dragonite. No. Uh... Oh. oh, I know this one. This is Jigglypuff from above. No. Oh, I was so close, I think. Oh, uh, we're almost at the end of the stage. Let's actually... Uh, uh. I'm not even going to catch it. <laughs> I was about to run away. So, you know, we'll reduce the amount of catches in this run and just keep our uh, total catch amount pretty, pretty low. Oh, the blue-eyed white dragon. Oh, that's really difficult to spell, though. Wait, you're sure it wasn't the winged dragon of raw? Oh. Hmm. I should try. <sighs> All right, this next stage. Okay, we got to aim for 1,000 points here. And actually, I'm going to try to catch the least amount of Pokemon still. So I'm actually just going to type out five letters. Oh, wait, I wanted to type out four. I'm, I'm smart. I want to type out four letters because at that point we get 40 points. And I'm going to be trying to gain a little bit more, more scores through that. But for now, I guess I'll also do that. Uh, I probably need like one more after this. Another Bulbasaur. Uh, I'll catch it and I'll push this one to them. And hopefully it is enough so I don't have to catch more after that. Or, you know, I can just catch the next one. That's fine as well. <gasps> it's a Dickled. Oh, almost. Oh, I actually missed the eye. Okay. Okay, barely enough score. Whew. Five catches in the entire level. That's, it's getting rough over here.
All right, in, I believe in this next stage, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, we're actually not going to go for a bronze medal in this one. Believe it or not, we're actually going to try be doing at least something. So in this stage, uh, you need to get uh, to get to Gengar at the end. Uh, spoilers. Uh, uh, you actually need to get a three combo, I believe, uh, to make a key appear. Or it could be four. So it, it's a little bit random when it appears. Hello, can the thing please appear? There we go, we got the key. So yeah, for this uh, stage to get the silver medal requirement, I think it's a, you need to get a seven combo. Uh, so and sometimes, as you can see, the key takes a while to spawn. So I, this is probably one of the easy, more logical stages to get go for the um, silver medal requirement. Gold medal is just way too much. Like after this stage, we only need uh, two more extra medals to make it all the way to the end. It's really, really stupid how little medals you actually need to make it to the end. So yeah, silver medal. Good reset. All right, off next, right? Fine. Going to the second boss stage again. Uh, again, not again. We're going to a boss stage again, and more levels start unlocking. We're done to those. And oh my god, it's the best starter out of Gen 1 in the silhouette there. It's amazing. So yeah, you can already try to guess what the Pokemon is going to be on basing on the silhouette on the bottom screen. It's Pikachu, <gasps> it's Pikachu it's again. Buff from above. <gasps> again? That one keeps appearing. Oh my god, Charmander though. Charmander best starter out of Gen 1. Fight me. <gasps> yes. No, Pikachu is not the best. It's the second best. Oh god, I lost connection with my keyboard. Oops. There we go. Sometimes that happens. The co connection isn't the greatest in the keyboard. Oh, uh, more fire starters. Worst fire starter ever. I mean, uh, I don't know. It's definitely not in my... I don't like fire Pokemon overall that much. But Darmanitan is the exception. Ooh, Dar... Dar Darmanitan? Who comes up with these Pokemon names? Uh, this seems more like Fire Gorilla. No, that's not right. Oh. Let's see, do I... Oh, the monkeys. These three different monkeys of Gen 5. Okay, uh, we're finding a uh, Groudon. Uh, there we go. Uh, and it's really, really easy, his attack, because he always shoots out the exact same letters. So it's 70-Y-U-G-H. So I can just mash those buttons when they... Oh, I missed a T. I need to do it once more. Once you do this stage again, it actually the boss fights become more difficult, and in the end they actually become kind of tough. But first time around, they're pretty pretty easy. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, the Totodile! What happened to it? Oh no, it fell down. All right, off to World Three we are. And the page is super impressed that we re were able to research Groudon and more storyline. Like, right now, the, we, uh, the professor tells us where we need to go. We need to go all the way to the right key, uh, which you can see on the bottom right there. Uh, wait, I don't need to go to J. I need to go to N. Uh, I know my map. But yeah, that's the goal of this run, getting to the right key and catching the Pokemon over there. And at this point, we need to start catching eight Pokemon. And, you know, it's any percent again. Normally this stage is really interesting that after you catch three Pokemon, coins start appearing, Meows try to steal coins. Uh, but that, that's super, super slow, so I'm not gonna do that. I just need to catch a few Pokemon in this at one point, I think. Uh, what was my requirement, I think? I think it was 1,000 points. So I'm just gonna make sure. I actually need to do a little bit now that I think about it to make that happen. So... All right, I, I forgot that I actually need to grab coins once. As you can see, this is super, super slow, so I don't want to grab too much of them. But at this point, we have enough points to get the bronze medal, and silver medal is just way too much effort. There's one particular stage I'm waiting for, which lets us get a gold medal requirement by only getting one more dex entry, which really? I'll explain in a bit how that works. Uh, but for now, uh, this is a butterfly, but uh, apparently there's an R in butterfly today. Ooh. 
We're definitely getting amazing scores here. Like, I remember the gold medal requirement for that one is like 45,000. And we're like, oh, we get 2,000. That's more than enough. <laughs> so yeah, I'll, uh, we need 11 more medals at this point, And we have still have quite a few stages to go. And I quickly want to mention the other category that might have been possible this uh, today. Which, unfortunately, we didn't get met. But to be fair, this category is much easier. So in that sense, it doesn't matter that much. Also, here I should. I'm, I only need to get points here, so I can point, type out letters, and destroy the waves when they appear. Because destroying waves also gives you points. But yeah, the different category, the Catch Mew uh, category. The Catch Mew category is overall, you get to see much more gameplay because uh, to catch Mew, you actually need to get 60 medals in total. And you want to try to get uh, those 60 medals before you get to uh, off the next boss fight that would appear. Uh, hang on, I gotta type some letters. I actually need to make sure I get 1,000 points. So yeah, the catch meal category, uh, it's a very scary shark there. I actually need to catch one thing. Otherwise, oh, oops. I didn't want to do that yet. No, we catching an extra Pokemon. No. I, I still haven't finished my explanation about catch meal. So yeah, you need 60 medals before you get to the L stage. Uh, which involves much more getting the, the extra levels, getting like gold medals on almost every stage you get through. So, still, it's definitely in the category which, if you want to actually see gameplay, I can definitely recommend watching that category as well. But now we're just memeing around. Memeing around is fun. So, Paige, or the assistant, is finally ready to type out full Pokemon names. It only took like 21 minutes before she started to learn that you probably learn better if you just type out full names. But uh, I'm not judging her. Uh, so yeah, in this next stage, we gotta research five Pokemon. And uh, oh no, the monkey appears again. Um, it's, uh, it's, I don't like these monkeys of Gen 5. Like, I'm not a big... I haven't really played Gen 5 overall that much. Also, I should make sure not to grab all those letters at the side. Uh, if you grab all those letters, an extra Pokemon appears at the end, because you spelled out the Pokemon's name in the end, or at least have all the letters to do that. But, you know, more Pokemon's animations that play because you got all the letters. We're not doing that. Hell no. So yeah, this is the, the weird pitch again. Uh, this is an ant. But it's durable, so it's a Durant. Durant. Combo three. Uh, last but not least, we need to get the Pidgey again. That's how you spell Pidgey. That's how you spell Pidgey. Fine. I love Pidgey, though. Uh, last but not least, we need this weird thing in the bulb. Or... <laughs> Ooh, what Pokemon could that have been? Oh, we'll never know. Spoilers, it's Venusaur. There was a lot of mistakes. Results. New ranking. Bronze medal. Good reset. So yeah, we're almost getting to the end of World 3 already. It's going by so fast. So yeah, she's super impressed that we researched 33 Pokemon, but in different cat in the catch Mew category, I would already have like over a hundred Pokemon there. So, oh, and now Professor Wordy unlocks the first extra stage. As you can see, it gives an extra animation and it's just annoying and slow and we don't want to have that a lot. So, you know, catching less is better. Oh, this stage, uh, Pokemon run away from snowballs. So you want to type out the snowballs, but, uh, oh, we missed it again. What was the requirement? Did I need to catch Pokemon or did I need to get a score? I should probably just start getting score just in case. Like, I don't know. Uh, this is a good stage, though. It's a nice stage. So, thanks for mentioning that, Adam. Uh, oh, ice cream. I uh, I love some ice cream. <gasps> oh, look, more ice cream. It's delicious. You spell delicious with somewhere ish in it, right? Oh, that's uh, a lass. It's just frosty. <laughs> Uh, is this gonna be enough? I'm not one. <laughs> oh, that's a Bormas. So. For some reason, I thought the Bear was gonna appear. I think this requirement was like 1500 points. 
we barely made it. I should actually read at this point uh, what the requirements are because I'm not super familiar with the levels coming after this next one. So yeah, we're about... I was able to get a higher score than hers for some reason. Like, I, I don't know what she was doing during this stage, but I, I didn't even try and I was able to get that score, but... Oh well. Anyway, another boss stage, and again, we don't really need to catch Pokemon during this, just the boss at the end, so if you want to plug something or whatever, go ahead. I mean, we could, because uh, the catch Mew% percent wasn't the only category upgrade of today, um, because later today we have Shantae and the Pirate's Curse, where you can upgrade any percent pirate mode no out of bounds to all dark magic pirate mode out of no out of bounds. And uh, that might be a mouthful, but I'm expecting a lot from it, so be sure to get your donations in. We are only... 293 and a half euros away. So, uh, this is going to be quite the challenge. Ooh. That sounds cool. I want to see that. If I'm not sleeping. I don't know. I didn't sleep... Didn't sleep greatly last night, so... I might catch a nap. It's so convenient of being in a hotel. I can just go back to my comfy, comfy bed after this. Feels good, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. What? Sleep overrated? Don't overrate sleep. Sleep is important, everyone. I'm playing a Pokemon, I should be sort of responsible. Uh, this is a... I actually need to type out this one. So yeah, we're getting to an uh, interesting Pokemon. This is Zoroark, and before we can catch it, it will actually like its ability. It can transform into different Pokemon, and or put up the illusion of different Pokemon. And to actually fight him, we actually need to type out those names. So, I actually got to do some stuff here, and I don't know, it's random again which Pokemon appear, so it's not like I can predict which one it's gonna be. It chooses from a set uh, which one it can be. Uh, I should have done, could have done that much faster. But yeah, it chooses from a certain set of Pokemon that can appear, but it's not always the same set. Uh, it's really confusing. Oh my god, it's Zoroark! <gasps> oh my god. Thank you so much for whoever that is. So yeah, now. Now we're going to the stage which we're actually going to get a gold medal requirement. I know, crazy stuff in this run, actually going for gold medals. Uh, but this next stage is pretty interesting because we can't really type out the Pokemon name that we're going to be uh, catching, but we gotta type out the letter it's representing because it's the unknown stage where only unknowns appear. And since it's only still what counts as one dex entry uh, once we catch these, uh, well, I'll just go for gold medal on this one, so... Uh, it's definitely interesting, some of these unknown letters, and some are actually kind of difficult to see from a distance, which one letter they are representing, so I'm just gonna make sure to... Oh, which one is this again? Is that an A? What's that? Is that an S? No, it's a Z. Okay, I need to read it. I actually need, like, an 18 combo on this one, so... And some of these letters just don't look like the letter at all. For example, this one. This is like a V. Don't ask me why. Uh, I hate I hate when the H appears. It's from a distance, it seems so much like an O, and it's not. Alright. Let's see. I should maybe take a little bit of extra time when I see one of those appear close to the wall. Oh, that's an R. Uh, is that the C or the D? It's the C, okay. Alright, it's an R again. A. F. F. F in chat. Or was it a 19 combo? I don't remember. It doesn't matter, like, how much combo we get, so I'll just make sure I have enough. Let's see. Or was it like it was actually 22? I lied to you all about the record score, the requirement for the gold medal. But we made it though. So yeah, that's the only remaining gold medal that we need to. Stop losing connection to my keyboard, please. I don't want that. Like I mentioned, not the greatest Bluetooth connection in this keyboard. Or the DS. I don't know where it's the uh, where it's the connection feels. I don't have any other Bluetooth keyboard, so that's just why I'm using this one. Not a super great keyboard, but it's not that bad either. So yeah, at this per, uh, moment, uh, Professor Wordy uh, disappears. 
We don't know where he went. Oh, well, I, I do, but because I know the story, but whatever. I'm not gonna spoil it. I, I should leave some uh, unspoilers for people. I, I don't come talk. Oh my god, what is that? Uh, 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 oh my god. Pikachu! Pikachu! <laughs> So yeah, for this one I actually need a little bit more score requirement. Oh my god, it's a Pichu as well. Let's actually pretend that I know how to play this game. Like, I, <laughs> I can't be around that long and just keep doing nothing. Okay, I got the bronze medal. Okay, enough, enough typing. I have no idea if it was a Pokemon requirement or a score requirement. It all boils down to the same. Just typing faster means more points. And the catching Pokemon is catching Pokemon. Oh my god, it's Porygon 2, one of the few Pokemon where you actually need to type a number. I think it's the only one, actually. There are some very, very annoying Pokemon which are just annoying to type. For example, Mime Jr., which needs to use a space and a dot. Like, what is this game expecting of me? Oh my god, look at all these <laughs> Pikachu in the back. Pikachu is cute. Second best starter of Gen 1. So yeah, at this point, this is where the um, Catch Mew percents would have uh, diverged off because Mew is actually caught in the dot stage on the bottom there. Uh, and if, oh, I shouldn't go in there again. As you can see, if you go back again, you can go. You see that can see the higher requirement for what you need to do. All right, for this one, we need to research seven Pokemon. Uh, that's uh, a Poliwag. Oh, so some of these actually go pretty fast on uh, when I need to type them. And at this point, we also uh, don't automatically get a name anymore, so I actually need to know my Pokemon names before I can type them out. Or at least to type them out sort of fast. But I only need eight. Or seven. Was it seven or eight? I think I said seven. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why they're dancing around, but, uh, you know, maybe it's the good music that's playing in the back. That's a good ride. But yeah, I don't know. <laughs> they're, just, they're just having fun. They're not used to being trainers around or... Oh, I actually need to catch that. There we go. Perfect. But yeah, you know, dancing is good. It's a good way of exercising. Like, we got banger music in a playlist as well, so uh, definitely after this run you'll hear more banger music and can dance as well. Uh, where are we going after this? We're going to uh, apostrophe. We're getting to the weird part of our keyboard. So yeah, we need to s uh, turn the power on again in this s stage, and uh, we actually need to research three Pokemon before we can get through the door, I think. Or is it only two? Anyway, we can turn on lights with these special uh, things we... Special uh, letters we see around the stage. So with, we can turn it on again. Uh, that's a Joltik. I should at least try to catch three before... I would actually be sad if I miss one of the requirements in this run. Because overall, bronze medals are the easiest thing ever to get. Oh, minus. No, it's an underscore. Or I don't know. What? There's no way to indicate the difference between an underscore and a... Oh! Explanation mark. Uh, I don't know. I don't know the letters anymore. Is this gonna work? Nearly. Nearly. Oh, I'm glad that the game tells me it was nearly there. Uh, it's a sheep. Alright. Now we need to tap a button. Uh, is it... Which one of the two is it? I never... I think it's the comma. No, the time's up. I actually messed up. <laughs> I, that's so annoying. It looks just like an apostrophe as well, and I never know which of the two I need to mash. And... Oh well, we get to see more of this stage again. Like electric Pokemon, those are cool, right? Yeah. All right. This. This is uh, like top ten uh, electric Pokemon. Trust me, number seven is gonna shock you. I'm so bad at memeing. Why am I catching more Pokemon? I shouldn't do that. Except Stryka. It's so dark in the room. I should turn on some lights, but... Ah. No. Um, 
Oh, is that a light? Oh, uh, look, there's the Mime Junior, right? You need to type a space and a, s and a dot. All right, which button is it going to give me today? All right, that one I don't know for sure which one I need to mesh. Yay! <laughs> Actually not messing up. Uh, there we go. I like to fire. Hey, we did it! And now the power plant is working again and we can move on. Because apparently the power plant needed to work for us to move on. Some parts of this story I don't understand still. So yeah, we still haven't found the professor. He's still lost. And the really annoying thing about the professor being... Oh, there he is. But yeah, the annoying thing about the professor being lost is that if you want to do the Catch Mew category and the professor isn't there, you can't turn off the setting turn on the setting that you unlock at 60 medals to catch Mew, which means that you get, need to catch him really super early. Uh, what was the requirement for this? I didn't see. Alright, this is definitely who's that Pokemon because we get silhouette Pokemons. Uh, so, uh, that's a Zebra. No, it's a Blitzel. I know my Pokemon. Oh my god, Smurgle. Smurg <laughs> Bob Ross Pokemon. Oh, never mind. Oh, there's the Pidov. Dang it. Always the wrong one. What, uh, I don't I don't know the requirement for this one. Did I get the medal already? I don't think I did. And then it probably was a score requirement and I just messed up way too much. Oh my god, it's Pikachu from the side. Oh wait, no. It's Voltorb, I mean. Oh, oh right, it was a boss fight. <laughs> I should have known that. <laughs> There's no requirement for this. Oh, uh, oops. Oh, there we go. It's pretty difficult to get a one cycle on some of these because letters are... Uh, oh yeah, and then it rearranges them at one point, which is also annoying, but whatever. Good music though. Yeah. Uh, F, F, gotta press F. Uh, which one is this again? This is Cobalion, right? I think so. Cobalion. You can... Oh, Cobalion, apparently. Basically. I've always pronounced it as Cobalion. But I guess that would mean that would, there would need to be a second L in that Results. name. Oh, well, we caught some extra Pokemon. It, in worst case scenario, we unlock one extra stage. Anyway, we got 30 medals here, and that means we can move on. I think. I think at this point, this is the point where you should have 30 medals, if I remember correctly. So yeah, that's the big reason why we had to get whew, four gold medals and two silver ones. It was a really rough ride up until this point. Now we're gonna get to the final bit of this run. We need to do four more stages before we can get to the ride key. We need to go through all the arrow keys. And well, Professor Wordy is sorry for getting caught or whatever, and now he trusts us completely, I think. I don't know, I don't remember the story that much anymore. It's been a while since I actually played through the story. So yeah, can we move on, please? Oh no, we first need to go to the function key, even. Or, yeah. We researched 50 different Pokémon, we can go to the Berry Bazaar. The Berry Bazaar is actually a pretty fun, interesting stage, because... Uh, in that stage, uh, you actually need to type out numbers of berries that roll towards you. And at that point, you don't... It doesn't matter if you make a mistake, even for the gold medal. So normally I do that stage by just scrolling over numbers like this. Alright, uh, this stage, uh, we actually need to type two Pokemons in a row with this stage. I don't, how did I make a mistake? Hello? What? Oh, right, you need to type a space in between, because that makes sense. Uh, so yeah, this this stage can actually help you a lot if you actually recognize the Pokemon cries because it actually takes a little bit before stuff appears. Uh, let me see, that's a Charizard. <laughs> Dragonite wannabe. If only Charizard was a Dragon Pokemon. Okay, we did enough. Uh, so we got a... We got, uh, Kakuna Rattata. I mean, uh, Hakuna Matata. Matata. No. And eggs. Oh, I could go for some eggs. Nearly. I'm going I'm gonna go for breakfast after this run. Oh god, it's far fetched. I actually need to type out far fetched otherwise like 
Pokemons with apostrophes and special signs, it's just... There was a lot of mistakes. There was a lot of... <laughs> don't judge me! I don't see announcer woman run this game. She just doesn't know what I'm doing. Where's her any percent leaderboard time? What is Ooh. this? Uh, more people should run this game. Like, currently I'm the only person running this game because, you know, it's not the most common game and capture cards are, like, also a thing for DS. And also, uh... And I'm the only one in total. No one has ever, never ever bothered to run this game until I came around, and so far I'm still the only one. Oh, and if you start matching the button now, she'll just keep saying nearly. Wait, well, we got close. All right, I need some score requirements, right? I almost thought, like, I can mess around even more now at this point. Oh, I made a mistake. Uh, that's Musharna. Let's... Uh, no, it's not my junior. Medicham. Medicham. That's not Medicham. Uh, oh, no. Was that enough? Well, what was the requirement in this stage? Can I actually see? Uh, did I get a medal? Let's see. There was a lot of mistakes. <laughs> yeah, there was lots of mistakes. Results. New ranking. Good research. <laughs> Oops, that was not good enough. I should have pressed retry, but yeah, as you can see, you can't move on if you make a mistake. But an extra stage unlocked for some reason. And but an another stage unlocked because we got 80 Pokemon. Oops. What was Oh, I had I needed to get 5000 points. Oops. Oh, we'll do the stage again. Like, the estimate is for Catch Mew anyway, so I can make mistakes. Is it now? Because our tech shift, our tech crew has actually been really on point and they did change the estimate, so you better hurry up, Frosty. What? Oh no, uh, that's not good. <laughs> uh oh. Speaking of estimates, though, <laughs> speaking of estimates, a lot of people have gone under, so we're adding another bonus game in, uh, I think it was Pit Fighters? Ooh. Bit people even, uh, which is ran by Trichro and will happen right after Okami. So be sh be sure to stay tuned for that. Ooh, that's gonna be cool. Okay, sorry for going over estimates. It's gonna go over estimate. <laughs> I thought I the other estimate would be on screen. Oh well, it was fun, right? And I only need three more stages. Like, if I take a minute for each stage, we should be fine, right? It's gonna take more than a minute per stage. Is Sonic actually on screen? No. I even put a microphone on Sonic, but he hasn't said much at all. Sonic, I thought you were gonna do the commentary for this one. Disappoint. Uh, so yeah, let's see. We're going to the up arrow again, which means more boss stage means more messing around. Yeah! Don't worry, it doesn't change me how fast I go, I think. This music, though. Okay. Um, this is a snake. Uh, that's a plant. That's definitely a plant. Don't tell me it's not a plant. It's obviously a plant. Oh, I pressed something in the back, apparently. Uh, what's this? What's this supposed to be? It's a sleeping Pokemon. I hear good suggestions. Oh, almost made it. What well, is this snake again? Or or grass snake, I should say. Uh, oh my god, I'm actually getting too far into the name. Oh, this is a flower that is not a flower yet. Ooh, close. Nearly. Uh. Uh. <gasps> it's Charizard. Oh, close. Dragonite is already strong enough. Oh, right, it attacks. Hello. <laughs> Dragonite Knight. Uh, hello? Why is... Hello? I, I can press buttons. I know my hand was just completely off. All right, there it goes. More attack. Uh, open bracket. Apostrophe. Semicolon. Dragonite Knight. 
The best Dragonite Knight out there. Oh. It's nice when it uses stat attack because you can just use your finger around. Oh. I know how to type this. Verizon. Piece of cake. You're Easy. So yeah, only two more stages to go. Hooray. So yeah, only one more regular stage before we get to the actual end. And let me actually look at the requirement in this level because... Because I'm gonna make him... I'm not gonna make that mistake again. Nine Pokemon. See, good thing I checked. That's much more than I thought. All right. Uh, oh my god. So yeah, we're underwater and that kind of makes uh, the screen all wobbly. Don't worry, it's not on your end. So yeah, we're in the middle, of, we're underwater, we're uh, catching water Pokemon. Is Jealous on the water Pokemon? I don't know. I don't play Gen 5. Uh, it's the perfect Pokemon. <laughs> oh my god, you actually scared me there a bit. <laughs> wow. Sorry. Rude. Rude. Oh. <laughs> my gig keyboard actually worked for a little bit. Good thing I was able to catch that. And we're just gonna not do anything more because we don't want... If you actually get a too high of a combo here, an extra cutscene starts playing here, I think. Yeah, as you can see, the ending is a little bit weird there. Uh, because uh, if you actually catch enough Pokemon, then an extra Pokemon actually appears and it unlocks you have to do an extra fight and such. Anyway, oh, boring stuff. I just realized that I'm already a minute over estimate, but whatever. There's only one more Pokemon. Uh, um, one more stage. All right, I, I have an important question. That so, uh, yeah, we get again, we are able to catch one of two Pokemon at the end here. And it doesn't really matter which one I pick. So what is your choice, black or white? All right, well, we'll be uh, catching Reshiram, I heard, uh, so... I think that's the white one, right? Hey, look! <laughs> we also have a Zekrom back... <laughs> Core. Um, and in this stage, Meteorites fall down. And... Uh, stuff happens, and uh, I can do stuff. Oh, uh, oh, the Meteorite breaks, and it's still running away. Ooh. It can actually be a quite annoying stage, this one, but... Luckily, we only need to catch the Pokemon at the end. So yeah, I'm gonna we're, gonna we're gonna be doing a boss fight, and once we type out the final letter of the Pokemon, that's when time is. So just saying it a little bit in advance for tech, just so they know. Oh, everyone, go lurk because lurking is good. <laughs> Don't shout out the lurkers, but I just did. Shout out to the lurkers. Also from Go Lurk. All right, and now I gotta remember what to actually type for these. I think it's just wide, or oh no, L, <laughs> just L, <laughs> because it's the light stone. light stone. All right, I guess we're catching, we're catching Reshiram. So yeah, they actually have two different uh, attacking patterns, but they're about as fast. So I don't usually don't really care about which one I pick. Uh, so luckily, you can make lots of mistakes for this. So often, when I can't see the letters, they just start meshing. Uh, right, it's... That attack is really nice because you can... It's a horizontal line of letters. Uh, so let's see which one is it this time around. It's the top line. It's actually QWERTY. Uh, where the hell is... Freaking forward slash? There we go. I never used that forward slash. Uh, but I had to use it again. There we go, and time! Woo. I was under the under the other estimate for the catch mew for category. That's something. Oof, I suddenly I didn't even notice you were back there, Xida. Sorry for messing up your schedule. So yeah, let me not take this much longer. I hope everyone enjoyed timing adventure. I was really happy to run it here. Uh enjoy next runs. Okami, I believe, is the one next up. Definitely it's a really good run as well. Uh, and with that, I'll be back later on shifts, I think. Yeah. All right, bye. <laughs>
There's the camera. Thank you very much for that run, Frosty. And then, indeed, up next is Okami by Kinnan11. And you might have noticed something changing in the schedule, because after Okami, we have Pit People ran by Tricro. But first, three minutes of ads.